Routing is one of the most important topic in Express application or you can say in Node application because without routing, you couldn't create any HTTP request. Routing is very important topic to understand because it enables us to send and get the HTTP request. In the previous lectures, we understand the basic concept of routing using Node. In this lecture, we are going to understand how to work with routing with Express application. What if I say you already created a route in the Express app and you already know how to create it. In the previous example, we created a simple route like this. We call the app, then call a method get. And we pass here a route path and the handler function. Now each route have one or more handler functions, which are executed when the route is matched. To create a route, you just need to initialize your express application and call HTTP request method. For example, just like get, post, delete, put and so on. Now, just after that, once you specify the HTTP request, the first argument is the path of your route. So, when the user enter the path, the request sent to the server and get the response from the server. Just after that, we have the handler function as a second argument. This function is executed when the route is matched. So, this is a very simple syntax of creating route. Now, let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how to create a route in Express application. You will better understand routing using example. So I'm going to just create here a simple example to understand how routing work in node application. So here I'm going to create a variable. So here I'm going to say constant express and I'm going to just require the express application. So as you know, to create express application, you need to first require the express and then I'm going to create the express app. So I'm going to say here constant app is equal to express. So I'm going to just initialize this app with express. Just after that, I'm going to say constant port is equal to 3000. So I'm using 3000 port for the server. I'm going to listen my server on port 3000. Just for that, here I'm going to create a constant variable data is equal to and then pass object to it. Then I'm going to specify ID 1 and name is going to be India. So I'm going to just specify random data inside this data variable. And just down here, I'm going to create my first route. So as I said earlier, to create a route, you need to first access the instance of the express application. So here I'm going to say app dot and I'm going to call HTTP method. So here I'm going to call get method and using this method, I'm going to specify the route. So in the single code, I'm going to specify forward slash. This will refer to the root route, then specify comma and specify the handler function. So when this route is matched, this function will automatically execute. So I'm going to specify parentheses. In the parentheses, I'm going to specify request and response object, then specify arrow. And here I'm going to say response dot end. And here I'm going to say welcome to my home page and if you want you can call the response dot send method as well that's upon you i'm going to say respond dot and and just out of that down here i'm going to create my second route so here i'm going to say app dot get and specify my route path so here i'm going to specify forward slash about so this is my about page path in the handler function i'm going to say request and response then call the arrow and inside it i'm going to say response dot send and I'm going to send here welcome to my about page. I'm going to do the same and create my next route. So I'm going to copy this code, paste it down here and change this route. And here I'm going to specify weather and I'm going to say here the current weather is nice. I'm going to just start this server. So I'm going to say here app dot listen and I'm going to just listen this server on port 3000. So as a first argument, I'm going to specify port this variable and as a second argument, I'm going to specify a callback function. So we'll get a console message when the server is started. So here I'm going to say console.log and I'm going to just specify server is started on port and here I'm going to call my port variable like this. Save the changes, open your terminal change your directory, enter into my express app, clear the screen and I'm going to just call npm start command. I already have this start command in my package.json file. You can notice here, I have this command in my package.json file. I'm going to execute this command. So I'm going to say npm start and press enter. When I press enter, the server is started on port 3000. So I'm going to open my browser and here I'm going to say localhost 3000. When I press enter, I'm going to have a message Welcome to my home page. Now, let me just check my second route. I'm going to specify here forward slash and say about. When I press enter, I'm going to have welcome to my about page. And if I want to check my weather, I'm going to say weather and press enter. 
I'm going to have a message, the current weather is nice. So using route, you can send different response to the user. So now suppose you don't want to send this static data. You want to send a variable or a data that is stored in the database. Let's say you fetch the data from your database and you get the data something like this as an object. You store that object in the data variable and now you want to return that data when the route is matched. So I'm going to just copy this data variable and instead of this static text, I'm going to return this data like this. Save the changes and reload my browser. When I reload my browser, you can notice I'm going to have my data as a result. Now you can notice here, this is a type of object. You can notice here, the content type is an object. What if you don't know what type of response the server is sending? And this may be a problem with response. But there is another way to send response using HTTP server. You can send any data as a response with a JSON type. JSON doesn't matter which data you want to send. It sends response as a JSON type. JSON type of data is widely used over internet or HTTP request. Most of the time when you request something from the server, the server responds with the JSON data instead of the object or any other data type. It always returns the JSON type of data. So let's get this data as JSON type. So now instead of returning this object, I'm going to just return this as JSON type. So here I'm going to say response dot JSON. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify my data variable, this one. Save the changes and now reload my browser. When I reload my browser, this will just change this object and return the JSON type of data. This looks like an object, but it is a JSON type of data. Express can also send a file as a response. Express add methods like send file, which lets you to send a whole file as a response. For example, let's say you don't want to return this data. Instead, you want to return a file as a response. So here I'm going to say response.send file. So this method allows you to send a file as a response. So in the double code, you need to specify the file you want to send to the client. So here you can specify your static folder where you have your index.html file. So when you call this route, it's going to display this HTML file as a response. In the next lecture, we are going to understand how to send the file as a response using HTTP server and we're also going to see how to create views in Express application. So the next lecture is very important.